guys, uh, I'm Mohammed. I'm from France and currently living in London. And today I'm going to share with you some tips about my travel experience and my life in, in my home countries. So Mohammed, you are basically from France. So if some people are going to France, which tips you can give them concerning traveling in France, which cities they shall visit and places they shall go? Um, I'd say first of all, Paris is a must. Mm -hmm. um, like cultural international capital. Uh, beautiful museum, beautiful architecture, um, beautiful food, amazing food, cafes. So really the lifestyle is interesting to experience. Um, after Paris, I will go to the south of France. I would say try uh, Nice, the Côte d'Azur, um, hang around there, the beach. Much better in summer okay. uh, than in winter, of course. Um, and having lived a bit in Geneva, I would also say uh, you can try the French Alps. If you like skiing or if you just like to visit the mountains, uh, you can do some walking, hiking. Hiking during the summer is really nice or um, skiing during the winter. Okay, um, but concerning Paris, you know, like, of course, it's a stereotyping. Everybody loves Paris and everything, but there are some people who are go going there. They are telling like about how clean is a city. It's not up to their expectations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it true? That I, I, I get it and like I... I do you agree that it's sometimes some neighborhoods, you know, mm -hmm. Paris is like about neighborhoods. Some neighborhoods are less clean than others. Okay. Um, I would say really plan your trip well, like stay in like the, the, the nicer parts of Paris. And of course, not everything will please you, but uh, nothing is perfect. And like, um, okay. Yeah. And concerning which tips concerning accommodation and transportations and like food in France? Um, Personally, in, in Paris, I have like friends and family, so mm -hmm. I will stay at their house. Uh, I will stay if you're on a low budget, on a backpacking oh, budget. But, but if someone is traveling there, you recommend some hostels, Airbnb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. if you like a backpacking, uh, low budget, I will say go to a hostel. You can go on like a hostel world, those kind of website. I would say uh, check by ratings, mm -hmm. the hostels, and like, like depending on your budget, choose one. Okay. Otherwise, there are also some Airbnbs, um, hotels, so depending on your budget. and. Try and select, check the neighborhoods that are good, the neighborhoods that are bad, and select well which neighborhoods. Okay, and which transportations are the best uh, in France? The, in, in Paris, you have a very good metro system. Okay. Uh, it's a bit, the metro is a bit dirty. If mm -hmm. you know London, compared to London, like the metro is a bit dirty. Um, but it's relatively safe and very cheap, so it's a good way to travel around. There is a bus, or you can take some Ubers as well if you need to sometimes. Okay, and which countries have you been to? Um, so I currently live in London. Okay. Um, that has like a tra well. So I'm studying in London, and from yeah. London I'm doing an exchange program in Russia. So now I'm actually in Russia for one year. Um, and how is it to be in Russia? It's a interesting experience. Uh -huh. um, Moscow is very. I live in Moscow. It's a very very big city. Okay. A lot of people from around the world. Not, not uh, sorry, not that I mean from around the world. A lot of Russians from around Russia. Okay. And a very few people from around the world. So people don't really speak much English, okay. except for younger people. Um, transportation is very good. They have an amazing metro system. Cool. M much better than Paris, actually. Surprisingly mm. enough. Yeah. Um, foods. I think if you have like a TripAdvisor application or Google. It will be very easy to like uh, with reviews find foods that you like. Okay. And about this, I would say in Russia, like make sure to choose the f like a food. Make sure to you know what you're ordering beforehand. Don't choose some something if you don't know it. Um, Why? Because it can sometimes you can have some deceptions and the food is not very tasty sometimes. Okay. Um, they have this really good things called um, if you're on a low budget, especially like called stolovaya, mm -hmm. which is like um a kind of Russian canteen and you have a lot of them around them. Um, you just go with your plate and it's like um, it's like a canteen and the okay. woman like, gives you the food. And how is it about like the cost of living in uh, Moscow? Um, cost of living, personally I live in like uh, my university provided with like um, a student accommodation mm -hmm. which is like relatively cheap but if you're a traveler um, I think hostels you can get for like five to 10 euros dollars a night pretty easily okay um hotels for from i mean depending on obviously on like the quality that you expect yeah um you can get relatively good prices i think okay um, cool uh, and like as i know as you have told me like you're coming your father is from france and mm -hmm. your mother is moroccan mm -hmm. so like to be raised up in some multicultural familial atmosphere 
is it helping you as a tra as a traveler to be more open well yeah i think definitely like um having grown up and experienced through my life like multi like kind of multicultural experience when i moved to london it w and also moving to london and so i'm like also like in immersed in like the british experience london experience um it's definitely easier to understand and to accept the cultural differences from other people okay so you don't you don't have expectations because i know like a few cultures and i know that in the, all those cultures that i'm from or that i experienced like people are different so it kind of like facilitated um like this accepting okay. as I said, the differences and discovering um discovering in okay. the same time as new and what can you tell about your experience in england um well Again, I live in London and like I think the rest of England is like very different from London if, if okay. people know like it. Yeah, London um, is not England at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, London is very big. I uh, absolutely love it. I, I really love like people are so um, open, accepting, um, you know, enthusiastic. If Whatever you want, you will find it in London. Yeah, um, you'll find it but very expensive. <laughs> very expensive, that's for sure. That's for yeah. sure. It has a cost, you know, it's amazing but it has yeah. a cost. Because um, you know, other uh, English cities is not so expensive. Like, it's yeah. not so uh, it's not so expensive, and uh, but also actually, it's also about the lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, has yeah. much less lifestyle than London. Yeah, exactly. Um, again, like in in London, like for prices, you will find some some areas like that are like much less expensive. Um, there are some neighborhoods like so. If you like, for example, from an Arabic countries, you have like um, Edgware Road. That's like pretty. Um, um, a lot of Arab, rest Arab restaurants, Arab okay. foods. Um, if you go to like uh, Notting Hill Gate, you will have like it's like much, a bit more British, I think. Okay. Uh, a bit more posh. If you go to East London, you have um, a bit. Like, it's like an Indian area. Mm -hmm. Brixton is like Caribbean oriented. Okay. Um, Central London, obviously, is like so diverse. So yeah, you have everything and like whatever you you want. Okay. Like, and what about English no. food? Mm -hmm. Um, I think we shouldn't talk about this English food, but um, no, I yeah, mean, especially English breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Beans. <laughs> yeah, you have you know beans. Yeah. It's pretty basic in my opinion. Thank you. Um, pretty basic in my opinion. Um, a lot of potatoes, a lot of beans, as you said. Pub food. Pub food. Actually, like I would say, try English food in in a pub. Yeah. Like uh, where people drink beer. Like you just go in there. Like they have some good English food, relatively fair priced. And okay. It's very common in England. So, like eat in pub cool and which countries you have been to outside europe um i visited so obviously <coughs> took by russia i visited like the us okay um i did a trip where i went to like cuba the caribbean island and then the us okay um i mean very different what can you tell about your caribbean experience and cuban experience uh starting with cuba it was very interesting um so obviously it's like a pretty close country yeah from, from the world um Cubans were very 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 welcoming yeah very welcoming a lot of love um very solid solidarity like a lot of solidarity between them um the food is not great mm -hmm. again I, I don't know why um, okay maybe i didn't know where to go to eat food but i only liked two or three dishes that i had there but okay and nobody hears about cuban food so but it's exactly, just fine exactly <laughs> yeah. exactly um okay i would really recommend so havana obviously is the capital yeah. historical capital beautiful um, but I would say if you're a tourist there, go two or three days to a, a, a city called Varadero, Varadero. Okay. And it's like, um, it's like very light blue parad 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 paradisiac okay. uh, beaches cool. with the white sand and uh, it's, it's a very touristy place. So after Havana, I would definitely go to Varadero. And, 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 and it's not so expensive there in Cuba. Uh, the flights there are obviously a little bit pricey. It's always about flights, you know, to Cuba exactly. from everywhere, it's about flight price. Exactly. exactly. But I mean, cost of living there is normal. No, yeah, yeah, yeah pretty yeah. good. Um, interestingly, they have two currencies in Cuba, for t one for tourists and one for locals. Yes. <laughs> And unfortunately, when you pay with the tourist currency, things are a little bit more expensive mm -hmm. because they know that if you have the tourist currency, you're a tourist, so they tend to increase a bit the prices. Yeah. But I think you can get a, on a, whatever your budget, you will find something for you in Cuba. Okay, and what about your US experience? Um, I went to Florida, Miami, okay. and it was very interesting. I, I was slightly disappointed in a way. Mm -hmm. um, I prefer Europe. Okay. I think it has more culture and people are more um, 
enthusiastic and, okay. and and less fake in a way. I mean, I'm, I'm, ah. like in the US, it was great, but we didn't meet any locals that were like really, okay. you know, that had like talking to us um, ah, okay. in a meaningful way. You um, mean you wasn't so much engaged in the society to judge hundred percent? Exactly as well, yeah. as well, exactly. But, but like, like from the first sight, you didn't feel it so friendly atmosphere. Yeah, like in Cuba, it was very easy to be approached by Cubans, uh -huh. for example. But in the U.S., like Americans it's didn't. Not really so heartwarming interaction. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. um, but it was cool. We tried like um, so obviously Miami Beach and, and went around there. It's really nice. Some good bars and, 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 and restaurants. Okay. And we tried like um, r rifle sights. Okay. Um, so we had like different weapons that we could try, and cool. that was uh, interesting. A bit scary, but interesting. Okay. Uh, experience. And like, if you're gonna choose one country for living, to spend your life, which one will it be? It's a hard question. Um, I will say, I, I will stay in London. I think London, London. is really. Uh -huh. it, it has like everything from everywhere, and everything cool. that I love is there. Um, and it's kind of mm. multicultural city too. Right? Exactly, yeah. multicultural and very respectful people. Um, like, it's like a, based on like um, the respect is based on like differences. Okay. So a lot of people come from a lot of places, and mm -hmm. people respect each other on this basis. Yes. Um, but like also, some people have some comments concerning interaction with English people. Is that? They are not like hundred percent friendly. You, you can't generalize all English people, of course. Yeah. Most of them are nice. You will find some people who you will dislike. Okay. Move on. Don't spend your time around and enjoy your time. Sure. You know, stay positive. Like. And which countries are you planning to visit soon? Um. Or you would like. To so go? now we're in Georgia, obviously. The yeah. Where we're here. Yeah. And um. In Georgia, eating Georgian food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the soup is waiting. Yeah. And um, soon I think I will. I'm really trying, ironic to go to Korea or Japan okay. to see like a kind of um, very a Asian like culture, okay. the way of living and the food. You have never been to Asia? Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Um, to Eastern Asia, no. But China, you choose Japan. Korea and Japan because they're like the most famous uh, Asian countries? Yeah, and China is very big. I, I'm a bit reluctant with China at the moment. First, I want to see like a more... A, advanced you know like a more western in a way japan and south korea are a bit more western okay um so i first visit them they speak quite good english so it <laughs> will not be too hard to get around etc okay and then after this maybe go to china at some point okay um mongolia would be quite interesting it's very close to russia okay maybe cool. mongolia okay and uh, like by the end of the video like if you have some general travel tips for our travelers if you'd like to give them some general tips concerning travel in general Mm, I will say, obviously plan well what you're going to do, where you're going, where you're staying. Don't plan too much, give yourself some time to enjoy, like maybe you will meet some locals at some point or you will uh, want to see something that you didn't expect. So plan well, but leave a bit of um, a margin for yourself. Um, just stay positive, like enjoy your time. Okay. You know, um, if you can speak a few words of the local language, people will appreciate this. Yeah, learning languages is important. Um, try not to, try not to have ideas in your head like um, pre -con like conceived. Yeah, forget about stereotypes. Yeah, it's totally wrong. Yeah, yeah, forget about stereotypes. Just go there to see what it is and accept that it will be different. Accept yeah. it will be different. Understand it will be different. And when you come back home, like you have a full view of of, of how everything went. Okay, cool. So thank you so much. My so pleasure. guys keep traveling and like and share this video and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.